guys, Jill here, and I have a haul video for you. Um, I've been on a partial freeze, and I did stick to it um, for the things that not allowing myself to buy, but um, I, I'm going to put myself on a budget <laughs> because I just find myself spending a little here and a little there, and it all adds up. So, um, with that being said, let me just show you the little here and little there that I did spend. So, um, I'll get the odds and ends out of the way. I went to Michael's um, to pick up another pack of the 110 pound white cardstock with the 50% off coupon that they had given out at the register that was good last week. Um, so, I picked up the white because I had run out and um, I love that stuff perfect card bases. So they had the lot of the dollar fifty impulse items in a bin marked fifty cents and I found this little frame and I thought that would be really cute to frame one of my art impression images. I don't know why every time I start a video my voice just goes. So that was Michael's. Um, then I went to Target and they have this really cute little stamp set and coming into Easter this year I realized I don't have many Easter stamps at all I've used them all year after year I need to look for a good Easter set these are really cute um, I was thinking about foiling these so that will bring me to my next purchase which was actually Aldi I was watching Marilyn G video and she got the mink and the foil and everything and um, she was also saying that she got a um, pouches for her laminator at Aldi they had really good prices and a laminator for $15 well I've been using the one from my dad's hotel Joey brings it home and then brings it back to the hotel I laminate um, my storage panels for my stamps like that, um, I take the 110 pound paper and I put it through the three millimeter sleeve and I laminate them and that's how I store my stamps. They're really sturdy and I have all cling stamps and they just cling to these. And I find it to be the perfect system. And I'm going to show how I store my stamps in a video once I get to showing my room video. It's just that I'm working on two really big projects with the deadline. So I'm kind of trying to play catch up. I should shop less. Anyway, I picked up the cheap little laminator and thought, you know, I'll give it a run. It's $15. Um, here's what it looks like because I almost walked right past it. And um, I compared it to the big one. Obviously, the big one has way more features and I'm sure it was not cheap, but it foiled just as nicely as the big one. Um, I don't have one, but anyway, I'll show you when I show you the cards that I made. And um, so, you know what? I bought it and I've been using the heck out of it. I also picked up some of the um, laminating pouches. They have two different sizes in here. And um, I might pick up some of the 8.5 by 11 ones. I'm not sure because I still have some that I got for way more. This was $5. And there are 80, 4 by 6, and 40, 5 by 7. So that's really good. Um, so I plan to use those up for something, maybe my smaller stamps. Okay, so there's that. Um, then I did get an order from Ranger to get the new color last month, um, Abandoned Coral. So I got the spray, oh, sorry, my fingers are a mess. Um, I got the, the paint, the stain, and the re-inker. And I held up on the ink pad because I am going to get the cubes when they come out, um, Four colors come out and then the fifth month they come out with the cubes and I have the felt 
that I can make my own ink pad if I need it in the meantime. Um, pretty small order. I picked up the Typo stencil. This was my favorite one from the release that month. I love how Tim Holtz releases a few items each month so you can keep up. And then this one. Had to have this one. Um, this is the Butterfly Duo. Pretty sure. Yep. And it comes with the die cut as well as an embossing folder that matches with it so i've got to get both of my butterflies out oh and i got the marker of course for the abandoned coral just like i did with the um, pistachio only i have lost the pistachio paint i don't know where it is it's driving me crazy i'm sure one of the cats hit it okay then I placed an order with Joanne.com because they're 50% off of everything. Um, I got the Delicata 4-pack. I thought it was going to be four little cubes. It's actually one long ink pad with four, which I'm fine with because I can re-ink them and use them individually. Um, and these are the two colors I was after because I have gold and silver. And this is copper and bronze bronze and celestial copper and bronze burnt anyway five dollars and then I got a bunch of stamps I got all stampendous actually um, sleeping kitty and then I got some house mouse love the one sharing the carrot with the bunny the one sleeping on the Easter egg I think this one is Curious Cat. Yep, Feline Curious. Feline Fun. This one looks so much like my one cat, Caesar. And <laughs> this little guy. He had a little too much sugar. And then I got the Spectrum Noir pencil sharpener just to give it a try. Um, so there's that. I went to. TJ Maxx and they had sorry I'm a little close for this one they had their Martha Stewart punches a bunch of them actually and this was one I didn't have and there's no price on it but it was $6.99 and so I thought that was a great price I have this will be my fifth one of the squares and so that gives me a really good variety but they had the big ones for $4.99 which is great and oh I picked this card set up it's really shiny <laughs> and there's 16 cards 16 envelopes like just open and I didn't really care as much about them I'll just put something over them but I thought the little holder was really cute and it was $3.50 so Marshall's was kind of fun for a change um, this is my Joanne stuff. Um, so then Hobby Lobby. I picked up one of their stamps. They have a lot of half-off stamps, which is pretty much the same as their sale because it's all their brand of stamps. But anyway, this kitty, really cute. Guess I'm in the kitty mood. Um, I got these tiny little Easter eggs um, for a project I have in mind, as well as the tiny little chickies. These were expensive, six dollars. Um, obviously, forty percent off. Um, I got some album rings. Used one for a project for my mom, and then I got the paper clips. Used my coupon on these um, for the pocket pages. I'm gonna swap with those. Okay, so that brings us to Joann's. Um, last week, this week, I think the whole month of March. Joann's has paper crafting 50% off so yay and then over the weekend they had a 25% off friends and family coupon so yeah went nuts um so I picked up I got five of these my my favorite blades the titanium I really do feel that they last longer for my trimmer um so I picked up a bunch of those and um, I only got one punch, which was the little heart, and um, I've been eyeing that one. Oh, I got this little file set online, 
it's the basic gray one it was like four bucks online with the half off so that was pretty cool and then this was like shoved somewhere from the gilded life stuff it, it was two dollars and um, then these were in the clearance aisle they were 50 cents so there's a little um, paper distressor like the Tim Holtz one and then this is some little texture makers and they'll work really good with um, a jelly plate and I'm not sure if I showed you that I got one Michaels has the stampendous jelly plate and it's just kind of shoved in with everything else in the rubber stamping all it's hard to see you have to really be looking for it so um, I picked up one of those and um, then I got these teeny tiny little birds in the floral section and they're gonna probably go with those little eggs um, I picked up this it was 60% off of $6.99 um, or $70 I just thought it was really pretty they had a few of them and I really like that one and then I picked these up again it was like $1.20 um, before the 25% off I got the little quill thing um, just for the fun of it I have some quilling strips and I'm looking forward to Tim Holtz having the quilled flower die and I figure I can kind of use them in conjunction because of my hand issues I got the quill ease tool um, it was $7.50 before the 25% off I haven't looked at my receipt but anyway that was cool um, then I got some mink stuff Again, this is the stuff that you foil. It's all pre-printed and you add the foil with the laminator or the mink machine. And so this is the butterflies. It's $2 before the 25% off, which so right now it would be $2. And the butterflies I got for $2. The flowers I got under the 25% off over the weekend. But they put out a whole bunch of new stuff after that friends and family coupon came out so I think they held on to some stuff at my store here's the flower ones and then here's the foils I picked out um, this is a rose gold very shiny huh <laughs> the pink I don't know what this one is mint Let me get those. and teal and then I picked up a few Tim Holtz things that I had on my list to refill sprocket gears. And I hadn't bought these yet. Cork domes. They've been on my list forever. And then these. Stampendous. Hmm. Anyway. Cool little mica and glass. And they had three of them for 97 cents each. So I picked those up to share two of them. And then what I was, thought was my favorite was the stamping gear. Um, this was $50, and I looked at it, and I contemplated my 50% off coupon, and I know you've all seen it. It has the in, inner and outer ring that you follow around, so you can make a circle, inner or outer. It comes with the little paddle, and then again bad angle sorry a whole bunch of stamps I think it comes with four sets of stamps two different sizes an opal in a circle and then they have a square and a rectangle and they also had those they were on clearance for $5.97 so I picked those up and I'd always been eyeing them and I figure for six dollars each I could definitely give those a try if nothing else the stamps are really cool so that was what I think was my great find I think these were cool too um, for 97 cents so that's my haul um, shouldn't need to buy much for a while I should have my hands full with all of this so thanks for stopping by um, please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and leave me a comment and um, have a great day.